Hi there YouTube friends, welcome back to Auntie A's Kitchen and today we're going to take a trip down memory lane and make a classic UK cornflake tart. Short crust pastry topped with strawberry jam and crunchy cornflakes. I like to serve with a drizzle of custard. It's easy to make, delicious to eat and I think you're going to enjoy this quick recipe. So let's get baking. We'll start with making our short crust pastry and if you don't have any time to make it then feel free to use a shop brought one. You can use your hands or a food processor. Just weigh out your flour, cold butter and a pinch of salt. Then mix this all together until you have a breadcrumb consistency. All the measurements for this pastry recipe can be found in the description below. And a quick tip, whether you're using your hands or a processor, you want to keep your pastry as cold as possible, so try not to overmix it. Next, add just a few tablespoons of cold water to your pastry. Then as soon as you see your pastry coming together in your food processor, stop mixing, empty it out onto a board, then finish bringing it together with your hands. Finally wrap it up, I like to flatten it slightly, then place in your fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes or for a couple of hours before you need to use it. And if you push for time, then you can always make the pastry the night before. Flour your surface and your rolling pin, then roll out to the size of the baking dish you are using. Today I'll be using a slightly bigger dish than I would normally use, but I'm really grateful to family who have been lending me all of their kitchen supplies while I wait for mine to arrive. Carefully roll your pastry up onto your rolling pin and then roll it out into your oven-proof baking dish. And gently lift and then push the pastry into all of the edges. For the perfect pie crust, a lot of people like to trim the edge after the blind bake, but I personally like to trim off the edges of pastry before the blind bake so that I can then use the remains in another recipe. Then place it into your refrigerator for about 30 minutes to rest. After your pastry has had time to chill, bring it back out of the refrigerator and using a fork, place lots of little holes into the base. This process, I believe, is called docking and it allows the steam to escape. An easy way to get your baking paper to lie flat in your dish is to scrunch it up and place it over your short crust pastry. Fill it with some rice, lentils or chickpeas to weigh it down and then place this into your preheated oven and bake for 15 minutes. While your short crust pastry is baking, you'll have time to measure out and prepare the other ingredients. Traditionally, strawberry jam is used in this recipe, but I found that raspberry jam also works really well. After about 15 minutes, take your pastry out of the oven, remove the baking paper, then place the pastry back in the oven for about five minutes until the edges are lightly brown. For the syrup, you can use a classic golden syrup. I have a wonderful recipe on the channel if you'd like to make your own, or just use a syrup from the shops. To this, add some brown sugar, salt, and butter. Then on your stove on a low heat, melt this all together. The last ingredient to measure out are your cornflakes. You could also use crunchy nut cornflakes. Just make sure no one has any nut allergies if you're going to use these. Once your butter is melted and you have no more sugar grains in your syrup, pour over your cornflakes and mix really well until all the cornflakes are completely covered. My favourite part in making this cornflake tart is to assemble all of the ingredients together. So first, layer your pastry with the strawberry jam, making sure to evenly spread it out. Then you're going to pour your cornflakes over the top. May I quickly jump in and say hi to all who have subscribed while I've been away from YouTube moving from Korea to Germany. The move went really smoothly, I'm feeling more settled and we set up a temporary kitchen to film in while we renovate our apartment. So I'm excited to start posting on a regular basis again. I really appreciate everyone watching and if you have any special recipe requests please let me know. Once you have evened out your cornflake layer, place back into your oven for about 5-8 to eight minutes until the cornflakes have started to pick up a little bit of colour. Let this rest for about 15 minutes before cutting into slices and serving with some homemade custard that's not only easy to make but you can serve the custard either hot or cold. This cornflake tart is simple to make and everyone I serve it to absolutely loves it. So please enjoy making and sharing this with your friends and family and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. God bless!